Hello, I'm Superintendent Trey Foltz. I'd like to welcome you to this live graduation event and take just a moment to tell you a little bit about our school system. We have 55 schools and 39,000 students across St. Tanny Parish. The graduates you're about to see walk across the stage are just a portion of the close to 2,400 students who will graduate from our school system this year. They will be headed to college, the workforce, and the military prepared for the future. Our district has nine National Merit semifinalists and an average ACT score of 21.7. That's higher than both the state and national average. Our high school students have earned over 5,000 industry-based certifications in career tech programs and 15,000 dual enrollment college credit hours. These graduates will also receive more than $100 million in scholarships and TOPS funding. Our students are well-rounded, taking art, agriculture, band, music, and foreign language classes throughout their school years. There are also more than 5,000 students that participate in athletics in 18 different sports and many more that spend time in the 100 plus clubs and organizations that we have on our school campuses. We Will is our school system theme this year. We know that our graduates receiving their diplomas and heading out into the community and the world are proof that we will succeed. Thank you for being a part of that effort and enjoy watching this graduation. Tonight is a celebration of everything you've accomplished so far. Time is important, but time can't control you. Without you, time wouldn't exist. Future classes are going to just strive to be compared with the class of 219.
Good evening. I am Luke Roman, Master of Ceremony for this evening. Before we begin, we ask that you please silence your cell phones as it interferes with the electronic systems. On behalf of the class of 2019, I would like to welcome everyone to the 2019 Pearl River High School graduation ceremony. Please stand for the presentation of colors by our junior naval ROTC, the Pledge of Allegiance led by Addie Smith, the National Anthem sung by Olivia Mummert, the Invocation read by Zachary Mayfield, and the Retirement of the Colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, tonight the class of 2019 celebrates the end of one journey and the beginning of another. By your grace, the help of family, friends, teachers, and mentors, and our own hard work and determination, we have created a strong foundation on which to build our futures. We thank you for all of your blessings that you have bestowed upon us, and we ask you for your continued guidance and protection in the years to come. We ask this in your name. Amen. Please be seated. Tonight marks an important event in our lives, and we are grateful that all of you are here to share it with us. In addition to our teachers, parents, and friends who are with us on this special occasion, we are honored to have the following special guest with us tonight. Please refrain from applauding until all guests have been recognized. Guests, please stand when your name is called. From St. Tammany Parish Schools, Mr. W.L. Trey Fulce, the third superintendent. Mr. Michael J. Kose, associate superintendent. Dr. Regina Sanford, assistant superintendent. Representing Pearl River High School on the St. Tammany Parish School Board, Mr. Michael E. Winkler, District 8. Representing St. Tammany Parish School Board, Miss Elizabeth B. Heinz, District 2, President of the School Board. 
Mr. Michael C. Nation, District 6, Vice President of the School Board. Members of the School Board are Mr. C. Brandon Harrell, District 5. Ms. Tammy W. Lammy, District 11. Ms. Lisa M. Page, District 15. Our other honored guests are Mr. David McQueen, Pearl River Mayor. Mr. Jack Sessions, Pearl River Chief of Police. Ms. Lisa Verga, Principal, Creekside Junior High. Ms. Andrea Stant, Principal, Six Ward Elementary. Mrs. Patty Holden, Principal, Riverside Elementary. Mrs. Sabrina Parrish, Principal, Little Pearl Elementary. Mr. Fulce will give his congratulatory remarks. Good evening, Pearl River High School Class of 2019. Tonight is an incredible moment in your life, one that you will remember forever. Whether through academics, athletics, music, art, robotics, band, theater, or any of the many other things that make up your high school career, you have succeeded. All these things took a great effort, but they were not done alone. You achieved these accomplishments together with your family, your friends, and our community. You had support during those years from your teachers, your school staff, your coaches, your administrators, and your principal, Mr. Priola. All of them had big dreams for the class of 2019 and made sure you had what you needed to get here tonight. And just like this year's theme of we will, after all that effort, this graduation is proof that together we will succeed. Tonight is a celebration of everything you've accomplished so far. So please, let's stop for a moment to thank all those people who have helped you along the way. I think they all deserve a big round of applause. Notice I said everything you've accomplished so far. Following your graduation, you will be going in many different directions. The workplace, college, the military. You have so much ahead of you. It's important to remember that the past is a lesson, the present is a gift, and the future is your motivation. Let your past be a lesson. You can learn from your achievements as well as your mistakes. They will help you continue to grow and guide you on your path to success. The present is a gift. Please, please do not take it for granted. Live in the moment. Wake up every day expecting the best and work towards your goals. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. And last, the future should be your motivation. Only you can determine your future. Do not let anything or anyone hold you back from your dreams. No one gets to tell you what dreams you are allowed to have inside your heart. Go bold and dream big. And as you head out into the world, go there with a smile, with gratitude, and with kindness. Along with your education, these three things will pave your future and your success. So tonight, as the Pearl River High Rebels, your graduating class has grown together, you have learned together, and you have made lifelong friends together, and you will be ever tied together as Pearl River High School Class of 2019. Congratulations. It is my privilege, privilege to introduce this year's student commencement speaker, Abigail McNeil. is so abundant, yet it escapes from us. Just 12 years ago, we were beginning our journey together, and now we're beginning our separate journeys. To end a journey 
is to look back and cherish the whirlwind of the past. To begin a journey is to look forward with an open mind and acknowledge the complicated situations to come. The bitter, the hard, and the easy. The importance of recognizing past and present journeys is to realize that time is not forever. To understand the weight of now, to admire the weight of today, to look forward to another adventure, and to live every day as a positive experience. Time is a priceless resource that we don't have forever. Yet, it becomes meaningless if it is wasted on repeating the negatives and if we drown ourselves in the pain. When my mom was diagnosed with cancer, time paused until people like you sitting in front of me made time restart. Time became more tender then. Time became bearable. With time gone as swiftly as it came, we're left to ponder. What made these years so important? If you would have told us in August of 2015, you will graduate before you know it, we would have shrugged you off. We thought we had time, but we didn't realize how little we had. We spent every second counting down the moments. Now that we're here, we forget to cherish the times we've had until the end of this journey. To fully appreciate this experience, we must look back on all of our memories. Although school consumed our days during the lives, the nights seemed to stick out to us. We must think about the late nights of finishing homework together, or the nights we cheered on the football team into some incredible victories. Maybe to you it's the nights that you spent with your best friends, or the nights of making new friends, or the nights of cozying up by yourself because we all needed our space sometimes. To us, those nights of driving home with Mr. Brightside by the Killers playing with your best friend sitting in the passenger seat made us take the long way home. It unlocked the metaphorical kind of home in our minds, not the brick by brick definition of a home, but the kind of home you feel in your heart the kind of home you can fit all the people you want into, but it never gets crowded. The kind of home that makes us really understand how much we need each other. For such a complicated journey, we must value the people along the way. These people include our families in the audience, our wonderful retire retired faculty, and the new faculty that came into our lives. We treasure the memories we have made with you all. To all of the proud parents, we thank you. Everyone to attend tonight with high hopes and expectations for us, we thank you. From genuine teachers to fantastic principals, we thank you. You may not remember most of what I say tonight, but I want you to leave with one thing. Time is important, but time can't control you. Without you, time wouldn't exist. You make time, so make it for things that bring you joy. Make time for your poetry, for your art, and for that workout. Make time for the personal experiences life has to offer you. Don't miss out on what in, what's important to you because time goes too fast. Make it slow down. You control your version of time, so make it sparkle. Make it memorable. In short, our time together is ending, but tomorrow you will begin your next trip far away from here. Time will always be by your side, and maybe sometimes it's going too fast for you. But don't forget to live in that moment and slow it down. As Gandalf once said in the book, The Fellowship of the Ring, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Good luck, Pearl River High graduating class of 2019. The William Pitcher Scholarship will be presented by Dr. Regina Sanford, Assistant Superintendent. 
Good evening. This scholarship carries the name of a man who served in education for over 40 years, was superintendent of schools for over 30 years, and was loved by all. His desire was to help young people get started in the world as adults. This scholarship is given on the basis of the following, attending all four years and graduating from a St. Tammany Parish Public School, attending Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge, having a good character, excelling in extra class activities, and meeting a high academic standard. On behalf of the William Pitcher Scholarship Board of Trustees, I proudly present a $1,000 scholarship to a student from Pearl River High tonight, Ms. Corin M. Seagrave. Our assistant principal, Mr. Clark Hershey, will recognize the students who achieved industry-based certifications. While in high school, students have the opportunity to participate in career and technical programs of study. Students were awarded industry-based certifications in the following areas. Graduates, please stand as your certification is called. Audience, please hold your applause until all certifications have been recognized. Microsoft Office Specialist Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, certified by Microsoft Corporation. Please be seated. Adobe, Photoshop, InDesign, Premiere, Illustrator, Dreamweaver, Visual Design Specialist Certified by Adobe. Please be seated. Certified Nurse Assistant, certified by the Louisiana Department of Health and Hospitals. Please be seated. NCCER Carpenter, Level 1, Carpenter Helper, Certified by the National Center for Construction Education and Research. Please be seated. NCCER Welder, Level 1, Welder Helper, Certified by the National Center for Construction Education and Research. Please be seated. Meat Processing, Certified by the Louisiana Meat Processors Association. Please be seated. Emergency Medical Responder, certified by the Louisiana Department of Health and Hospitals Bureau of Emergency Medical Services. Please be seated. CPR First Aid AED, certified by the American Heart Association. Please be seated. OSHA 10, General Industry, certified by CareerSafe. Please be seated. Customer Service, certified by the National Retail Federation. Please be seated. National Career Readiness Certificate Work Keys, certified by the American College Test. Please be seated. CIW Internet Business Associate. Please be seated. Fundamental of JavaScript, Functional Programming and Web Development, certified by Operation Spark. Please be seated. FEMA, certified by the National Incident Management System. Please be seated. 
AutoCAD, certified by Autodesk. Please be seated. Certified Guest Services Professional, certified by the American Hotel and Lodging Association. Please be seated. Louisiana Agritechnology, certified by the Agricultural Education Services and Technology. Please be seated. Serve Safe, certified by the National Restaurant Association. Please be seated. ProStart, certified by the National Restaurant Association. Please be seated. Micro Enterprise, certified by the Baton Rouge Area Chamber. Please be seated. We would also like to recognize Riley McFate. He has earned 12 certifications, the most industry-based credentials in the history of Pearl River High School. In addition, he has the honor of receiving the most certifications in St. Tammany Parish for this school year. Riley, along with your parents, where are your parents at, Riley? Please be standing and be recognized. Congratulations, Riley. Great job, everyone. Our assistant principal, Mrs. Katie Fuller, will recognize graduating seniors who have earned academic excellence. As I read each of the following groups of students' names, would the students and their parents please stand as each student's name is called alphabetically. Audience, please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. The following honor graduates have achieved at least a 3.0 to 3.49 cumulative grade point average for their four years in high school. They wear a white cord to designate this honor. Honor graduates and your parents, please stand as I call your names. Katherine Adams Hardwell, Elena Bullott, Sarah Boyder, Michaela Burbank, Brandon Cochran, Andrew Doss, Caitlin Ellis, Natalie Isep, Whitney Furlow, Samantha Gailey, Rebecca, Rebecca Grassafi, sorry, Madison Hall, Randy Landor, Ethan Levy, Riley McFay, Destiny McCray, Felicity Mellorine, Olivia Mummert, Brennan Murray, Kayla Nunez, Kyle O'Neill, Suzanne Pazflores, Jasmine Rivas, Joshua Rogers, Allison Schultz, Heidi Heidi Serrano, Madeline Singletary, Miles Smith, Emma Wallbacker. Please be seated. The following honor graduates have achieved at least a 3.5 to 3.9 cumulative grade point average for their four years in high school. These students wear a gold cord to designate this honor. Honor graduates and your parents, please stand as I call your names. Brianna Alligood, Destiny Anders, 
Thomas Anthony, Brian Armado, Lydia Baru, Zoe Bennett, Matthew Charbonnet, Joshua Dawes, Frankie Dell, <laughs> Kenneth Gordon, Grace Gediman, Hydra Henderson, <laughs> Vanessa Hernandez, Alexis Howard, Ashlyn Hurst, Bryce Killian, Jessica Little, Ashton Mason, Haley Mathern, Preston Matthews, Zachary Mayfield, Tyler McKenzie, Abigail McNeil, Haley Moore, Isabella Ray, Gary Revere, Nina Sagona, Addie Smith. Please be seated. The following honor graduates have achieved a 4.0 or higher cumulative grade point average for their four years in high school. They wear a white and gold cord to designate this honor. Honor graduates and your parents, please stand as I call your names. Madeline Anglin. Maggie Bennett. Madison Bayham. Clotil Boudreau. Cambry Calabresi. Joseph Contrell. Heaven Deary, Jamie Gordon, Kaylee Holyfield, Naya Kaiser, Peyton Lee, Catherine Pullins, Luke Rollman, Corinne Seagrave, Sarah Sinclair, William Stark. Travis Verga. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to alphabetically recognize the top ranked graduates of the class of 2019. Please come forward when your name is called. Madeline Page Anglin. Madeline, the daughter of Randy and Susanna Anglin, has been a member of several clubs during her time at PRHS, including the National Honor Society, Beta Club, and Mu Alpha Theta. Madeline is a four-year member of the 4.0 Honor Roll. This fall, Madeline will attend Louisiana State University, where she will study chemical engineering. She graduates from Pearl River High School with 18 dual enrollment hours. Madeline Page Anglin. <laughs> Cambry Marie Calabrese. Cambry is the daughter of Anthony and Lorraine Calabrese. She is a four-year member of the Lady Rebel softball and volleyball teams. Cambry also holds positions in the National Honor Society and Beta Club. She is a recipient of the Mosaic Lodge Honesty and Integrity Award. Cambry was awarded an academic scholarship to the University of Southern Mississippi, where she plans to study nursing. She graduates from Pearl River High with 23 dual enrollment hours. Cambry Marie Calabrese. Joseph Kent Contrell. Joseph, the son of Dr. Mark and Susan Contrell, is first in class and was selected as Pearl River High's Student of the Year. Joseph serves as president of the Ambassadors Club and held membership in many others during his time at PRHS. He spent time servicing his community by assisting with renovations for the Connection Church of the Nazarene. He has been awarded the Mississippi State Culvert Future Leadership Scholarship 
and the Louisiana Tech Presidential Scholarship. Following graduation, Joseph will attend Louisiana State University where he plans to major in chemistry. He graduates from Pearl River High School with 26 dual enrollment hours. Joseph Kent Cottrell. <laughs> Jamie Britton Gorner. Jamie, the daughter of James and Katie Gorner, holds membership in the National Honor Society, Beta Club, and Mu Alpha Theta. Her community service work includes volunteering at Riverside Elementary's Field Day. Jamie has been awarded an academic scholarship to Southeastern Louisiana University where she will major in nursing. Jamie leaves from Pearl River High School with 18 dual enrollment hours. Jamie Britton Gorner. <laughs> Naia Davida Kaiser. Naia is the daughter of David Kaiser and Gwinnett James. She holds memberships in Student Council and Beta Club. Naia is also active outside of school hours, volunteering for the Special Olympics. She has received the Priority Scholarship to Southeastern Louisiana University, where she plans to study social work. Naia will graduate from Pearl River High School with 24 dual enrollment hours. Naia Davida Kaiser. Peyton Elizabeth Lee. Peyton is the daughter of Elizabeth Lee. Peyton serves as president of Rebels Against Destructive Decisions, vice president of Thespian Troop, and captain of the bowling team. She has obtained the seal of bilingualism by taking four years of French while attending PRHS. This fall, Peyton will attend the University of New Orleans where she will pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. She graduates from Pearl River High with 28 dual enrollment hours. Peyton Elizabeth Lee. <laughs> Catherine May Pullins. Catherine, the daughter of Dwayne and Trisha Pullins, holds the position of treasurer for the National Honor Society. She is the recipient of the Mosaic Lodge Honesty and Integrity Award and was elected to the American Legion Auxiliary Louisiana Girls State Program. Catherine was also recently awarded the Patrick F. Taylor Memorial Scholarship. Following graduation, she plans to attend the University of New Orleans to pursue a degree in nursing. Catherine leaves Pearl River High with 20 dual enrollment hours. Catherine May Pullins. <laughs> Corinne Madeline Seagrave. Corinne, the daughter of Greg and Jennifer Seagrave, holds membership in the National Honor Society and Beta Club. She is a four-year recipient of the Principal's Award and 4.0 Honor Roll. Corinne is also a member of the PRHS Lady Rebels Volleyball and served as one of the team captains this year. Corinne has been awarded an academic scholarship to Southeastern Louisiana University where she will major in nursing. Corinne leaves Pearl River High School with six dual enrollment hours. Corinne Madeline Seagrave. Sarah Ashley Sinclair. Sarah is the daughter of Jeff and Maria Sinclair. She serves as Vice President of the Student Council and holds membership in the National Honor Society. Sarah was recently recognized for achieving perfect attendance all 12 years of school. Her community work includes volunteering for the Special Olympics and Relay for Life. Following graduation, Sarah plans to attend Southeastern Louisiana University to study nursing. She leaves Pearl River High with 24 dual enrollment hours. Sarah Ashley Sinclair. <laughs> William Mason Stark. William, the son of Donnie and Grace Stark, currently serves as vice president of the Pearl River High's FFA. He recently received first place in the state exemplarious public speaking leadership development event. 
William was also elected as a delegate to the Louisiana Boys State Leadership Program. He plans to attend Mississippi State University in the fall, where he will major in golf and sports turf management. William is graduating from Pearl River High with 22 dual enrollment hours. William Mason Stark. Congratulations, honor graduates. You may return to your seats. Mr. Priola, our principal, will address the graduates and present their diplomas. It is my honor to recognize the graduates that have made the selfless decision to join the United States military. Graduates and your parents, please stand when your name is called. Chastity Alderman, United States. United States Coast Guard. Gage Bartolon, United States Army National Guard. Whitney Freelu, United States Army National Guard. Preston Matthews, United States Army National Guard. And Zacharias Ussery, United States. Army National Guard. Thank you. Be seated. Congratulations. Before I start, I'd, like, I'd be remiss if I did not acknowledge that myself and the class of 2019 owe a debt of gratitude to the man that created the school culture and laid the foundation that led to the success of this class and the success of Pearl River High School, my predecessor, Mr. Mike Winkler. <laughs> Students, another group that you'd like to th I'd like you to thank is the group that's sitting around y'all, around y'all on the floor. Let me tell you about this group. This group of faculty is the epitome of teamwork. 90% of this group, besides teaching, are involved in extracurricular activities, sponsoring clubs, classes, leading organizations, directing plays, coaching teams. We have as many programs as our neighboring high schools with half the, the, half the staff. It is an astonishment how involved they are, so let's give them a round of applause. The next group, students, above in, our, in the bleachers in the stands, your parents. Let me tell you something about your parents. Your parents are the most appreciative and supportive group as a whole. Maybe not this week. This week, they were a little tough when they had to pay all the fees for the cap and gowns. But as a whole, as a whole, you allow us to challenge your students, hold them accountable, bring out the best in them. It is a refreshing trait and a characteristic that I love about being an educational leader in the community of Pearl River. Let's give your parents a big hand, students. Thank you. And now it's for you, students. I got to thank you all. This is what's tonight for you. I am truly honored and proud that the class of 2019 is my first graduating class as principal of Pearl River High. Let me tell you about some things I learned about y'all. Y'all are the most respectful, courteous, polite students I've been ever, ever been associated with in 34 years. I learned from day one when I was doing duty in the cafeteria and I was about to scream and say, let's pick up our stuff. And the cafeteria manager, Ms. Penton, came to me and said, don't worry about it, Mr. Priola. In the Pearl, our kids pick up after themselves. And sure enough, for 180 days straight, there's nothing left in the cafeteria picnic tables. You might not think it's a, li a little, you might not think it's much, 
but it goes a long way. It just shows the character and the values and the morals that your parents instilled in you. Thank you very much, students. Thank you very much. Another thing I notice is when I'm in halls that transition and I'm opening doors, and it's always, thank you, Mr. Priola, thank you. I got 18 thank yous today, so y'all must have taught the underclassmen right. Y'all just help every day. I've never gone a day where I've opened a door and a kid did not say thank you. And it just proves, like I said, I brag about you. I'm your biggest cheerleader. I spread the word about this proud community school. It's the little school with the big heart. I call it the best kept secret in St. Tammany Parish. So once again, I thank you students, thank you. No matter how you cut it, you were the school leaders this year. You set the tone for spirit, overall enthusiasm for the school year's journey. And we had a lot of cheer about this golden anniversary 50th year of Pearl River High School. Whether it was on the stage with the fine musical plays and concerts, on the classroom, as you can see, all the certifications. Or did we go to a, a Broadway-based play that we received a scholarship from? Or was it on the gridiron where our football team accomplished more than it ever has? It had a great year. Or was it the pep rallies? We even exper experimented with a blackout pep rally, a black light, a glow in the dark. We tried to build it, and y'all were the leaders. Y'all did a great job. And whether it was on the court where we had district champions or we made the playoffs for the first time in 18 years and on the diamond where our softball team had a historical year and our baseball team is still alive, one of the four St. Tammany Parish schools still alive in the quarterfinals. And I'll be in that number this weekend in Bro Bridge supporting that group and we're praying they can get it done. But let me tell you, y'all left y'all mark. Future classes are going to just strive to be compared with the class of 219, how they rank to this glorious class in this year. Y'all really did set the benchmark high. As Zach Mayfield stated earlier, this journey ends and it marks the beginning of new challenges. Whether you're going to college, learning a trade skill, or starting work, just remember, the perfect example is to help each other, work together as a community in a school, remember your community. We have four students that are starting work next week at TechStrong, at TechStrong because of the community connection we had. Those four guys sacrificed, went two times a week to St. Rose, enhanced their trade, and because our instructors worked well with our community leaders, they're gonna be starting work next week. And as they like to tell me, they said, Mr. Priola, we're making bank next week, and I am proud of you, but just remember, put some money in the bank, okay? Put some money in the bank. But whatever you do, don't stay stagnant. Make sure, make sure you're always learning and improving. You control your own destiny. You know, in life, life there's a lot of ups and downs. I raised three boys. My family wasn't like the Brady Bunch. You have ups, ups and downs. You never give up, you persevere. Know your goal and keep striving for it. And if you reach that grow, goal, try and be a better person. You know, I'm gonna leave you with a, two quotes that kind of coincide. One is my favorite quote from Muhammad Ali, and it says, don't count the days, make the days count. So you want to make the days count. If you're in the doldrums and you're going through it, hey, learn something today. Try and be a better person. I do it at my age, every day. I'm going to say, I'm going to try and be a better worker, better husband, a better father. So make every day count. Another one is from my mentor and longtime friend. His name is Principal Bruce Bundy. He's the principal at Mandeville High. And he used to say every morning on the daily announcements, he would say, he would end it with a phrase, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Seems trivial, but we were out one time, our families, we, 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 all, we do hang around, and we're out at a restaurant and a, a chef, the head chef 
sent a note, and it said, Mr. Bundy, I choose to make it a great day. Mr. Priola and Mr. Bundy, thank you. Thank you for making me accountable, and thank you for being a great leader. So it did resonate. And just think about that. Make it a great day. Just think, if you string along a bunch of great days, before you know it, you had a great month. And then hopefully, the great month turns into a great year and ultimately a great life. So before you know it, you know, it's going to become a great life. So remember, this is the key thought, remember, you control your destiny. It's out there for taking, so go and get it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I told these seniors we'd do one more thing for your last time as students at Pearl River. I'll, I'll create my inner Jeremy, our most spirited student at Pearl River High. So we're going to do it one more last time as students. Because I'm telling you right now, people all over, y'all welcomed me since day one in the community of Pearl River. I feel like I've been there my whole life, and I want to thank y'all. So when I say this, I really mean it. So let's do it. Don't leave me hanging, students. We are. We are. We are. We are. we are. we are. I can't do the other part. Uh, I can't do that, but thank you. God bless. Thank you very much. <laughs> Students on stage, please be seated with your class. I now present the 2019 graduating class of Pearl River High School. They have completed all the requirements prescribed by the Louisiana Department of Education and are ready to receive their diplomas. Will the 2019 graduating class of Pearl River High School please step forward to receive your diplomas. First row, please stand. Catherine Rose Adams Harwell. Chastity Donna Alderman. Andrew Philip Alleman. Brianna Christine Olligood. Colby Milton Alsebrooks. Yared Eliel Alvarado Soto. Destiny Michelle Anders. Logan Daniel Anglin. Madeline Page Anglin. Thomas Jonathan Jackson Anthony. Brian Christopher Armado. Brant Joseph Audebear. Lydia Marie Rose Baru. 
Dylan James Beard. Maggie May Bennett. Zoe Emmelyn Bennett. Madison Lee Bame. Elena Ann Bolot. Gage Pierre Bordelon. Robert August Bosch the Third. Clotilde Maria Boudreau. Savannah J. Bowling. Jason Hunter Bowman. Sarah Leanne Boyder. Taylor Lane Eve Brazil. Savannah Sadie Bruno. Alaria Anjane Bullock. Michaela Ann Burbank. Cambry Marie Calabrese. Joseph Kent Cantrell. Matthew Aaron Charbonnet. Brandon David Cochran. Brennan Cade Colgan. Shawnee Tariel Collins. Ashley Nicole Cook. Blake Hunter Costello. Andrew Lewis Doff. Alyssa Michelle Davis. Nicholas Ellis Davis. Joshua Anthony Dawes. Justin Thomas Dean. Heaven Lee Deary. Frankie K. Dell. Jennifer Lynn Dickmeyer. Caleb John Ducro. Trevor Lee Elam. Caitlin Nicole Ellis. Natalie Cheyenne Estep. Whitney Clarence Freelo III. Samantha Odile Gailey. 
Haley Nicole Garcia. Jamie Britton Gorner. Kenneth Colby Gorner. Nathaniel Ray Griffin. Rebecca Lynn Grisafi. Grace Nicole Gittiman. Madison Ann Hall. Devin Adriel Hart. Kydra Elise Henderson. Vanessa Lisbeth Hernandez. Cameron Taylor Holmes. Kaylee Danae Holyfield. Alexis Michaela Howard. Ashlyn Nicole Hurst. Richard Earl Jessup II. Mark Anthony Johnson. Naya Davida Kaiser. Kristen Nicole Kopp. Dylan Bryce Cavanaugh. Rebecca Ann Keller. Amar Emerald Khalid. Bryce Everett Killian. Hannah Nicole Lacey. Randy Tyrone Landor Jr. Peyton Elizabeth Lee. Ethan Antoine Levy. Jessica Lane Little. Taylor Alexis Lyons. Hunter James Martinson. Ashton Alexandria Mason. Haley Marie Mathern. Preston Brantley Matthews. Zachary Andrew Mayfield. Tyler Andrew McKenzie. Catherine Margaret McClendon. Abigail Leanne McNeil.
Riley Glenn McFade. Destiny Alexis McCree. Felicity Taylor Mellorine. Haley Lee Moore. Olivia Renee Mummert. Arthur Joseph Munz III. Brennan Bernard Murray. Joshua Andrew Neff. Christian Warren Nelson. Jacob Matthew Norman. Alexis Renee Nunez. Kayla Marie Nunez. Kyle Jerome O'Neill Jr. Jalea Kiera Patterson. Susanna Naomi Paz Flores. John Colton Pittman. Catherine May Collins. Isabella Lee Ray. Jasmine Liana Rivas. Gary Keith Revere Jr. Ian Douglas Rigby. Michael Raul Rivera. Jose Raul Rodriguez Garcia. Joshua Robert Rogers. Alyssa Brooke Polk Rosas. <laughs> Luke Anthony Rollman. Nina Estain Sagona. Edgar Ivan Sanchez. Allison Michelle Schultz. Corinne Madeline Seagrave. Heidi Yahida Serrano. Carlos Miguel Simmons Jr.
Brock Matthew Simon. Sarah Ashley Sinclair. Macy Miranda Travis Singletary. Madeline Nicole Singletary. Addie Reed Smith. Alyssa Michelle Smith. Kaylee Brianne Smith. Miles Joseph Smith. Drew Connor Swallow. Thomas Charles Spazali the second. William Mason Stark. Austin Wayne Stoddard. Jatasia Alexis Taylor. Joseph August Thiel. Emily Annalyn Thomas. Dominique Alexis Tony. Cameron James Townsend. Zacharias McGee Ushery. Travis Michael Verga. Hannah Nicole Watts. Sean Christopher Watts. Hunter Scott Webb. Emma Catherine Wallbacker. Emily Victoria Williams. And Quentin Devon Williams. Seniors, please stand. You may now change your tassels to the left side of your mortarboards. By the power vested in me by the Louisiana Department of Education and the St. Tammany Parish School Board, I pronounce you graduates of Pearl River High School. You may now toss your caps.
The benediction, read by Kenneth Gorner, will be followed by the singing of the alma mater by Tyler McKenzie and the recession of the graduates and faculty. We ask that the audience remain in place until all graduates have left the auditorium. Parents, please meet your graduate outside of the University Center. We ask that you do not enter the lower hallways. Please rise for the benediction. Dear Heavenly Father, please help us to remember the friends, faculty, and staff who helped make high school a positive experience and our families who supported us each step of the way. We also ask for your grace to help us work hard in our, fu in our future endeavors in order for each one of us to reach our highest potential and to make a difference in the world. Amen. Thank you. 